Hey guys, welcome. This time we're going to be looking at a haul video. Well, more like a vintage haul. And, um, let me tell you the story on these figures right here. As you can see, three of them right there in front are four. Um, we, we were kind of like yard selling this morning. And we happened to stroll by the flea market. So we parked, and right behind where we parked, there's a, a shop he just opened. And he had a whole bunch of vintage Star Wars figures. He had a boxed Dagobah landing, Dagobah set, and um, still in the box. It wasn't brand new, it had all its parts, but it was not sealed, it was just in the box, which was really awesome. He had a Rancor, which I already have a Rancor, so I didn't buy that. Um, he had a Rancor, and then he had tons of vintage figures. He had about a hundred. But as soon as I got out of the car, I bolted over there. I was just like, Phew, snap your finger over there. And I was just digging through the figures. And, um, let me show you what I got. I, he, but he had a lot, so I had to pick through a couple. Alright, we'll start with a new hope first. I got a vintage Leia. Very cool. We'll focus on her. Well, that's her, Leia. Very awesome figure. Because she's still in very great tech. She doesn't have barely any marks on her. She ain't yellowed anywhere. Just awesome. To have that one. And then I got Wal Walrus Man. And he is in awesome condition. He's got a little bit scuffed right there. But the rest of them is pretty good. Right there, you got a little bit of scuff mark. The rest is just really, really great. Really great figure. In great condition. And then I got Chewbacca. And he is in really great condition, too. No yellow or dirty or anything like that. Really great figure. Got him. It's hard for him to stand up. Then we'll go to the Empire Strikes Back. I got the vintage IG88 with no rubber limbs. These are just the the hard plastic pla plastic ones. They don't bend very good. Um, I got him. He's a really great figure. I was just watching Micah Six Feet's Bounty Hunter video, and he had this one. And he's right. This is a really great figure right here. I got this one. I got this one right here. Then I got the Boba Fett. Not the rocket firing Boba Fett, but the original. See, no rocket right there. And that's really great. I'll put him right next to my rocket firing Boba Fett, which you can see my review on, on my channel. But I got this one. And this was a really, really great figure. So we'll set him over to the side. Then I got um, four LOM, or Zuckus, as the vintage figure was named. But he's a really great figure. He's got very, very great detailing on him. Just a very great figure. But then, I think one of my favorites is Zuckus, or for LOM, as the vintage card said. Just like my K68 said, this is one of the best figures. Because of the, the cloth right here. The, well, like the leathery plastic. It's awesome. And he was in pretty good condition. There's one. He had a couple of each one. This one didn't. A couple of them didn't have its robe on. So I got this one right here. And it's in really, really good condition for a nice, an old figure. I got him. So him over the side. And then I got Darth Vader. Vintage Darth Vader. Which is a really great figure. Let me just set the camera down for a second. You guys get a good view. He's a pretty good figure. Very nice. Very good condition. Only problem is his cloak right there ripped. It was already ripped when I bought him, but I didn't see it. But that's okay. But he's got the tele telescoping lightsaber. I can get it come out. There it is. Telescoped out. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. I thought I really like that. Do I am your father? I'm just playing around. Um, but I got him. 
set him back over here to the side. And I got one other figure from that wave, I guess you could say. It's a Rebel Trooper. Not much to say about him, just a figure. Really good one, though. I might put him on my Tauntaun. They didn't have a Luke, so I didn't couldn't find Luke. But I did get him, and he's really great. So I'll put him on my Tauntaun I have. Then we'll go to Return of the Jedi, which only got two figures from there. I got a Gamorrean Guard and uh, Luke Skywalker. First, I'll look at the Gamorrean Guard. Here he is. And he is awesome. I've always wanted a vintage Gamorrean Guard. Um, he's got pretty good detailing. He's, he's probably the most dirtiest one of all of them. But that's okay, because he's a really great figure. That makes up for it. He's a awesome figure. Very big figure, too. I'll set him over here. Then I have Luke. Luke Skywalker. Return of the Jedi Luke. Jedi Luke, I guess you could say. Oh. Which was surprising he came with his cloak. In great condition, the cloak is. It is very great, great condition. No coming apart anywhere so that's a really great one it's not one that buttons or anything just a tad one which is awesome but the figure is in really really pristine condition very very good um, he's in great condition his face is pretty good too it's probably one of the most one of the vintage figures he's the most that resembles Mark Hamill I must say well, I got that one which is a really great one. And I got him. But that's just about all the figures I got. I think I have about 11 figures. Let me see. One. 11. I got 11. Um, and they were $2 each. I know, pretty amazing. But, since it was a lot, it would have been about $20. I got all this for sixteen dollars, which is awesome. My, um, this is really great set. Thanks to my dad, he got them for me, which is awesome. He got both of them for me. But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, rate, comment, all that great stuff. And thanks a lot. Bye.